Hey, 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 welcome to Don and Coco, the anime adventures. Today we're going to be talking about Moist Critical um, and his opinions on animation and how it's improved. So, let's roll that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, another new video. Please do not forget to subscribe because one day I hope to get as big as him because this guy's got millions of subscribers. He does content on a reg and regular basis and honestly his content is really good um and it's it's content we don't really see much of anymore where it's just him talking to a camera um with minimal editing let's say not not so much editing but just giving his opinions on like daily news um what's going on on tiktok what's going on on youtube and um giving reviews of movies anime series and stuff so he's you know he's 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 in the know with most things and his opinions are definitely more or less aligned with mine on most things as well um, but today we his video is really good actually and I really enjoyed it and he speaks about well he talks about animation um, and how animation has improved and it kind of like it made me think as well because he he references um, into the spider-verse when that came out um, a few years ago how it it kind of showed us where animation is and into spite of us definitely brought a level of animation in Western society in Western culture um, it brought us up to a standard which we haven't been at before before we were getting a lot of um, 3d rendered animation and and it, in a sense it, I didn't really like the animation style before but when I saw into the spider verse it really elevated the animation for me the different styles the way they represent different animation in different characters it's done masterfully. Um, for me, anime, so the anime industry has always been the standard of animation, and it still is. <clears throat> let's not let's not beat around the bush or kid ourselves. Um, across the Spider Verse animation, I believe is probably ver it's at that standard as well. From so the series that we've got recently, Demon Slayer, the animation is absolutely top notch. Some of the best animation I've ever seen in terms of. The realism of the characters, the way they move, the way they represent their different skill sets, um, breathing, sword art, it looks magnificent. Especially when you've read the manga and you see it interpreted in such a beautiful way. It's masterful, it's a masterstroke. And same with Jujutsu Kaisen now, look at that, that looks incredible. It's so clean, so crisp. Seeing Gojo with, um, Gojo with those blue eyes just popping off screen, the colour, the contrast, saturation, it looks amazing amazing and then we also look at one piece and one piece for me is just chef's kiss honestly the animation is so good and i've really really enjoyed watching one piece this year um there was a point where with one piece i kind of stopped because i wanted to i i'm really bad right i really lack patience i'm sure like most of you i lack a lot of patience and for me to wait on a weekly basis for episodes, it was getting to a point where no, I needed I needed to binge. So, and I think I'm getting spoilt by Netflix and binging series and stuff. But um, in terms of anime, One Piece, I waited and then I started to watch watch the last like I don't know 30, 40 episodes in one go. And now I'm completely up to date. Um, I've been up to date for the past month or so because I'm I'm gearing towards Gear Five, pun intended. So yeah, let's um you know that for me anime of course has always been the standard but across the spider-verse it, it showed us what what we can do in, in this part of the world with animation and how 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 amazing the art style is especially the fact that across the spider-verse is a multiverse right so there's spider-man from different universes and each spider-man had or woman had like a different a different animation style and that i cannot even begin to explain to you how difficult that is um no wonder it took them so many years to make this movie because that in itself is such an amazing skill and and so much credit should go to um people that work on these type of movies um and i don't know how they do it in anime where they release an episode every week and sometimes animation quality is like whoo, so high and moist critical he he references zom 100 and i don't know if you guys have seen the animation from zom 100 but it looks um it looks amazing i mean we could we could even just like maybe show you oh, to be honest uh some 100 ohayou gozaimasu ore no namae wa tendo akira hanayaka na gyokai ni akogare haitta seisaku gaisha no kenba clean and crisp is right like 
the lines, the detail, the color, it's just popping off screen and and the level of animation is really attractive to series, no, I don't know what the story is going to be like, but the story is interesting as well, where he yeah, writes that this is a zombie, or what's going on, so, so it might even be too loud, let me just... You know, and if we if we rush through when the zombies are, this is amazing. The color, the contrast, the way the screen flickers on the zombies, and as he's as this person's running through, it's just it's just such a beautiful. You know, you've got these light marks, the light spots and stuff, and the coloring and the contrast of the color to the black and white. Um, it, it looks really good, you know, and and sometimes like in animation, I'm not saying that's the most important thing when watching a particular type of anime or watching a particular movie um, but it adds it adds so much so much depth to 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 that series right and he like like moist critical says we are so blessed right now on a monthly basis we are getting pieces of art that are just getting getting introduced to us and and we get to watch whenever we want and that's amazing amazing space where we're at because I remember watching things on like 360p back in the day if not even that um, watching Dragon Ball Z on my HTC Desire on the worst possible quality and and now animation the quality is so good it's so crisp I mean my kids gonna be lucky you're the next generation is so blessed and and I'm so I'm so I'm, I'm here for it I mean I'm here for the fact that not only are we getting good animation in Japan from Japan we're also getting it from America, and and the animation that's coming from America, from England, from 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 of course from Western society itself, it's top top notch, guys. I mean, even Amazon Prime with with Invincible, that looks amazing as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way animation is going. Um, and also, Moist Critical even touches upon the fact that that when I was younger, people when I say I used to watch anime when I was 14, 15, they say, oh, that's for kids. Why are you watching that? Even though when you're 15, you're a kid, you know you're a teenager, you're trying to be older. But they say, oh, that's for kids. Why would you watch baby cartoons? And you're like, well, it's not a baby cartoon. Anime is brutal. I mean, some of... So Ninja Scroll, do you guys remember that, how brutal Ninja Scroll is and, and stuff? And yeah, I could go on. But honestly, now now people understand that anime is not... not it's, actually, some anime shouldn't even be touched by children. But anime is not just for children. It's for adults. The story, the drama, um, some of the death scenes still get me emotional. Rengoku dying in Demon Slayer, um, Ace dying in One Piece. I mean, these are brutal scenes. Even in even when Goku, his first transformation into Super Saiyan 2, um, that was incredible as well because everything was falling around him and you could you could see the emotion on his face. And again, I'm mentioning really old episodes here, but but the animation was good back then right in anime but now this this is this is different level i mean this is ridiculous and this is not we're not just talking about one or two you know hyped up series such as one piece um demon slayer stuff like that. we're talking about zom 100 i mean this is not i don't know how much hype zom 100 has but this looks incredible right so yeah i mean guys what do you think put your opinions down below let me know if you agree with the great man that is moist critical shout out to him shout out to his video um not that he needs it but yeah i mean it just it just gave me an idea of my own video so thanks for that i was actually toying with the idea of what to do and and for the past like few weeks i've just been thinking about animation how it's improved and you know i'm not an animator i'm a medical writer right but being in this space of having um being able to get to get software wherever you want um and even for it for the animation to trickle down to youtube level right to to not my skill level, but other YouTubers who are animators who can use the platform to make small series, small animation, one-stop animation, and and do it to like a studio level. That in itself blows my mind. Like you could have a 3060 RTX laptop, maybe not 3060, but let's say a 3080, or even these days a 4090. If you had a 4090, you could do your own animations. You could do everything you want. You can make your own mini series. The software's there, and and that for me is incredible because. We didn't have that 10, 15 years ago. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like if you haven't liked. Well, if you like the video. And comment too. I'm, I'm, I'm here for the community. So, trying to grow it. Trying to get to that 300 sub, guys. So, yeah. Peace out. Look after yourselves. And have a good weekend.